good day everybody welcome once again on this video we are going to see how you can build a whatsapp boot using the meta api for whatsapp and before now we most of us that actually been working on boot always rely on third party api like the popular one is twilo there are so many other ones but i remember i've worked with twilo for some time but recently twilo have removed and you cannot really maybe do any whatsapp automation on twilo if you are not on their paid service so but working directly with the whatsapp api on the metas developer site is very very good so the only thing you need is that you need a developer's account on meta and then the, how you can actually get that just head to developers.facebook.com and then you can easily log in with your facebook account if you already can easily log in with your facebook account and then let's go from there so after you have logged in with your facebook account you are going to be prompted on the home page of the of the of the meta developers account and then the only thing you have to do is you can easily just take the documentation or you can just scroll down and see so many other things that is being outlined there but the first thing you need to do if you have already set up your developers account just head to app and then it's not going to prompt you if you are or if you have already been working with um and whatsapp already or maybe you've already been working with the metas developers account you can see the apps that you have created already and for you to actually do this i i believe the first thing you need to do, make sure that you set your two-factor authentication so that the app can actually work in the right order if you have not set your two-factor authentication there are so many other things that you might not be able to do so the first thing you need to do just go to create app so now create app and um, you need to set an organization maybe a business portfolio so you if you don't have a um, i don't want to connect a business you might but i want to connect to the already business that i've already built so you can create a new business and then connect to it and then click next and then come to orders and then click next And then choose business click next and then you can now give it a, a name maybe I'll just say whatsapp whatsapp testing and then you can now create the app say so whatsapp are not allowed okay let's just say whatsapp testing let's see if this works okay it's not required that I, I put in my password i'm going to cut this side off put in my facebook password now the app has been created if you see this is the name of our app was texting so the next thing you need to just do is there are so many um, um uh, add product you can add but just come down to here and now say um add this it's not going to it's not going to add this to our 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 product which is um the the app that we are building you are not going to add it to our our system so now the app that we now have just go to the api setup okay now this is um everything that we need is loading this is your access token which expires every 23 hours this is the number that you'll be using for um, the number that will be sending you the message at any time maybe we'll test it now so all you need to do is now come down here add your whatsapp number i've already um, you can have yeah, it's detecting that i already have a number i've added in other apps i decide to choose it again and then this is the number that will now be receiving the message i'm going to send so if you now want to test it if the whatsapp and um, if the boot is actually delivering you can just do send you can send the message i'm not telling you that the message i've sent successfully and then you can now go over i have my was my mobile whatsapp here as you can see the message have come other messages i've been receiving from my other apps are still here 
so you can easily see but this is the one that we are just pointing if you see our time and our time is corresponding so this is how you can easily set up your whatsapp boot using the whatsapp api this is just a simple step so the next step we are going to go into is how you can now send and receive or how you can now maybe send um not just um a premeditated message that are already set up this one you now want to send your own message not the ones that they, they already set up so in our next video we are going to look at how you can actually use python in now setting up the um, your own um template for messaging and then getting it in your whatsapp um as a message so i can't wait to see you in the next video click the subscribe button put on the bell icon so that when i drop the next video you'll be first to know and then click like and share thank you once again and god bless you